Hello friends and welcome to yet another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. Today we will be studying a very important topic that is effect of pressure on TXY plot. The study will be done using Raoult's law but mind you this is applicable to TXY plot done by any law that is law for non-ideal mixtures also. The conclusions that we are going to see are going to be the same whether we plot it using Raoult's law which is for ideal gases and liquids or for or by using modified Raoult's, Raoult's law which is for non-ideal fluid system. Now let us take a problem quickly and start off. We will do it using Excel and stay till the end. You will find, I will teach you many exciting ways of using Excel. Stay tuned, do not leave till the end. You will learn very important tricks in Excel, which will help you in solving a lot of problems in thermodynamics. Okay, now how do we draw a TXY diagram using Excel? So what we have here is we have a system of chlorobutane and chlorobenzene. Now let's start with doing the plot for 90 kilopascals and we have to study the effect of pressure on the TXY plot. So let's reduce the zoom so that we can do things clearly now. Yeah, we have gone to the normal zoom now. Now the first thing that you have to do is write compound. A, B and C. So capital A, capital B and capital C. Now these are the Antoine's constants for the compounds. So here we have is chlorobutane and chlorobenzene. Now, the Antoine's constants are 13.7965, B is minus 2723.73, well we can drop the minus sign and the C is for chlorobutane very well uh, let's save it to let's give a name so txy uh, I have shown this step deliberately to you so that you remember that whenever you do anything in Excel save it Whenever you do anything in any program, the first step is enter the values and save it. Okay, 13.8635, and 211.11.7. The first step is that we should write the boiling temperature of chlorobutane here. So this is our T. So we have to enter the boiling temperature of chlorobutane here. So the boiling temperature of chlorobutane, we are going to get it as 13.7965. So yeah, that's going to be minus 2723.73. So we already have entered this value. So it's going to be B. We have to just modify this equation. So it is going to be B upon this minus this minus this. So let's start with the bracket 
B over A minus Ln of the pressure. So we can select this as the pressure now. We will enter the pressure here. So let's take a convenient value here. Pressure. That's it done. So we have done this. So let us complete the bracket. And let us put dollar signs here. So function F4, it puts dollar sign to all numbers. So a dollar sign and a dollar sign. So that's function F4. That's minus 218. Let's close it and let's test this. So we have this. It takes the pressure from this purple box. So in this purple box, let us enter 90 kilopascals. And we get 74.7134. Now this is the boiling temperature of pure chlorobutane. Now pure chlorobutane will have an X of 1. So we can drag it and we can get it to some convenient position here. Right. Now we need to enter the boiling point of pure chlorobenzene here. So the process remains the same. We are going to take the value of B, F4, divided by A minus Ln of the pressure, close the bracket. So we have to get B here first. Yes. So let's put all of this into a bracket so that there is no confusion in the calculation minus the value of C and enter. So we have got the temperature now. This is 127.3599. Now let's do something very interesting. You got to go to developer. You got to go to insert. And from here, pick up a scroll bar. And just place the scroll bar here. Position it to your liking. Size it to your liking. So I would like to size it this way. Yeah. Now, right click on this, go to format control and in format control, let us give the minimum value as 80 and the maximum value as 130. Incremental change 1, page change 10, leave it as it is and link it to the cell where the pressure has been written and enter it. Okay. Now, as you can see that when you change the pressure, you can just click and change the pressure. It calculates the temperatures. Look at this. Watch this automation. Now at 90 degrees Celsius, it should give you the value we had calculated. So let's have a look. 127.3522 and 74.7143. That's right. Now we need to estimate temperatures in between these two temperatures in a descending order. Now how do we do that? We write is equal to, we take this temperature minus this temperature minus the lower temperature. divided by the number of differences that we want. So a step size, that's roughly a step size. So we press enter.
Oh, we have done a slight mistake here. Let's correct it off. There we are. Now let's drag and drop this. And as we can see that we have got some range in temperatures here. Now I can fix any step size that I want. Now I have taken 15. If I want to take a step size of 13, well, the profile would look something like this. Seems okay. Now how do we calculate the value of x and y? So for that we need the vapor pressures of chlorobutane and chlorobenzene at each temperature. For that we write Similarly, the vapor pressure of benzene to get these dollar signs to make this an absolute reference we just press function F4 or F4 function key. The pressures are right and we drag and drop the series. And that is it. It's 90 here and 90 here and that shows that all the calculations are right. Now for the value of X we have the pressure of the system minus the vapor pressure of benzene divided by the vapor pressure of chlorobutane minus the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene and we enter drag and drop the series for x values has been created. Now the y value is simply the value of x multiplied by vapor pressure of chlorobutane divided by the pressure of the system. Drag and drop, we have the values of why? Stay put. We'll do a very interesting thing now. We'll plot it and we'll see how does the plot vary with respect to the pressure. Now itself we can see that our automation setup is ready. As we change the pressure, 
the calculations get updated by themselves. So let's reset this to 90 and let's draw the plot. So to draw the plot, go to insert, go to charts and go to smooth lines, place it wherever you like it. Click add series. Give the series name TX, TX values in the series and the Y value in the series is the temperature. Click OK, then click Add. Now this time it's TX, TY rather, TY, the X values is going to be Y. And the y values are, of course, the temperature. And we click OK and OK it. Now, as we can see here, if we wish to, we can format the axis, but I leave that up to you. You can always change this axis and change it instead of 1.2, you can change this axis and you can. Go to format axis and the maximum value can change be changed to one and that would make our plot look better and of course the temperatures should not start from zero it's the temperatures would always be very high so the minimum temperatures can be kept as 30 and that would make the look plot look much better and now let's zoom in a bit close this zoom out and let's change the pressure and have a look at the effect as we can see the boiling temperatures are changing the values of x and y are changing and as we increase the pressure Let's see, we increase the pressure to 130. We can see that the X and the Y curves have moved closer. Now, if we reduce the pressure, we can see the X and the Y curves have moved further apart. Now, this gives you a very important fundamental in distillation. When the pressure of distillation is reduced, the separation improves. When you do distillation under higher pressure, please note that the separation reduces. That would be all. If you have any comments or if you have any clarifications to see, please do write in the comments. Have a great day, guys. Bye.